Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain about the cam and follower mechanism in Creo. Okay, let's get into the video first. For more additional videos related to the mechanical engineering concepts and the design, please subscribe my channel. First, I'm going to create the first part in which I'm going to set the unit as MMNS part solid. And I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a center rectangle. And this dimension is going to be 40. And this vertical dimension is also be 40. And here I'm going to draw a circle, select a circle and draw a circle with a diameter of 20. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to select the extrude command and make a symmetric extrude with a value of 20 and then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to create a plane. Select this plane and select the right plane. And here I'm going to enter an offset distance of 10. Here I need in the opposite direction so I'm going to flip this one and enter a value of 10 and then click on OK. So my new data plane is created here. Select the plane and then click on sketch and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a line. Select the line and draw a trapezoidal shape like this. And here I'm going to enter the dimension value of 30 and and I'm going to select the dimension command and I want this dimension to be 45. And here I'm going to enter an angle of 75 and I'm going to select the dimension command once again and select this line and this line and make an angle of 75 degree. So now it's fine and here I'm going to draw a point. Select a 3D point and let me draw a point here and I want this dimension to be 15 and select this point and this point and this dimension to be 15 and select this point and select this axis here and I want this dimension to be 110 again select the dimension select this point and this vertical axis and enter a value of 30 so now my sketcher gets completed and I'm going to give the check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one, select the extrude command and select this point and here I'm going to extrude it to a value of 50 and then give a check mark to it. And now my model is completed and they also the axis is created since I have drawn a 3D point in my sketcher itself. So I'm going to save this one, click on file and save us. And here I'm going to save it in the desktop folder with a file name as cam and follower mechanism. And then click on OK. And I'm going to save this file name as the base PRT file. And then click on OK. And I'm going to close this one. And next I'm going to create the second part, select a new and make sure that your unit is millimeter newton second part solid. And here I, once again I'm going to select the front plane and I'm going to draw a circle. Select the point and draw a circle. And draw the another circle. I want this diameter to be 55 and this diameter to be 40 and I want this distance to be 35. And now I'm going to draw two tangent lines. My first line here and my second line on this here. So this line is not tangent so I'm going to make it tangent by using the tangent constraint. Select the tangent constraint and select this line and this circle. Now it's tangent to each other and I'm going to remove the unwanted 
entities by using the trim tool. Now my sketcher gets completed and I'm going to give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to extrude this one, select the extrude and select the sketch and I'm going to extrude it to a value of 15 and also make it as a symmetric extrude and then give check mark to it. So I'm going to edit this one, select the sketcher and I'm going to draw a point here. Select the 3D point and draw a point and then give a check mark to it. Now my axis is created successfully. So now I'm going to save this one. Select file and save us. And here I'm going to save this file name as cam. And then click on OK. And now I'm going to close this one. And select new and I'm going to draw the another pot select the front plane and click on sketch and here I'm going to draw a circle select the center point and draw a circle and also draw the another circle I want this diameter to be 40 and this diameter to be 10 and then I'm going to draw a 3D point to create an axis and then give check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one to a value of 15 and also use the symmetric extrude as well and now I'm going to save this one in the desktop in the cam and for lawyer mechanism as a file name as the roller and then click on OK And now I'm going to create a new pot, which is the follower. I'm going to select the front plane and click on sketch view. And here I'm going to draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 18. And then give a check mark to it. And now I'm going to extrude this one to a value of 60. And select the sketch and then give check mark to it. And now I'm going to select this plane here and go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a line. Select the line and select this point and this point. I want this line dimension to be 20. And then give check mark to it and now I'm going to use the revolve feature here. Select this axis here. And I'm going to add thickness to it by selecting the solid and then thickness and I want this thickness to be 4 and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to select this bottom face here and then click on sketch go to sketch view and here I'm going to draw a line I want this dimension to be 12.5 and this entire dimension to be 25 I want this dimension to be 10 and then give check mark to it and now I'm going to extrude this one select the extrude command and here I'm going to extrude it to a value of 35 and select the solid extrude and add some thickness to it I'm going to add thickness value of 4 I'm going to add the thickness to the mid plane here and then give a check mark to it and I'm going to use the round command to add some fillets here. Select this edge here and holding down the control key select the another edge. And in the sets option I'm going to select a full round option and then give check mark to it. So my this feature is created successfully I'm going to mirror this one and before that I'm going to draw a hole here. Select this sketch and uh, here I'm going to draw a circle whose diameter is going to be 12 and then I'm going to extrude cut this one to remove the material and then give check mark to it so my feature is created and I'm going to mirror this one holding down the control key 
select the mirror command and I want this plane to be mirror plane and then give a check mark to it and now my part gets completed and here I'm going to save this one select file savers and I'm going to save this as a follower path and then click on OK and let me close this one and now I'm going to create a follower assembly select new assembly and make sure that your unit is in millimeter newton second assembly design and here I'm going to select the assemble command and first I'm going to assemble the follower I'm going to use the default constraint and then give check mark to it and now I'm going to assemble the roller part select roller and I want this to be in a pin connection and select this axis with the axis of the follower and now my axis alignment is fine and I'm going to select this plane with this plane of the assembly part and now my connection definition gets completed I'm I'm going to say this one as the follower assembly and then click on OK and now I'm going to create the another assembly the that is a final assembly select the new and make sure that your unit is represented in millimeter newton second assembly design select the assemble command and first I'm going to assemble the base part select the default constraint and give check mark to it and now I'm going to import the follower assembly part select the assemble command and here I'm going to assemble the follower assembly and I want this constraint to be cylindrical constraint and select I'm going to rotate this one first and select this axis let me turn on the axis display first and select this axis with this axis and now my connection definition gets completed and I'm going to rotate this one like this and then give a check mark to it and next I'm going to assemble the cam select the assemble and select the cam part I want this to be pin connection and select this axis with this axis of the cam and make sure that coincident constraint is enabled and select this face and this face and make a coincident relation and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to animate this one and also apply the cam mechanism to it before that let me open this part and here I'm going to create a point select the point command and let me tilt this one and I'm going to select this edge and in the options tab I'm going to select a center option and now my point is created at the center of this edge here and again I'm going to select this part and I'm going to open this one and here also I'm going to create a point select the point command and let me select this outer edge here and as usual make this as a center option such that the point is created at the center of the edge I'm going to close this one and now my point gets created and now I'm going to the applications tab and select the mechanisms and here I'm going to create a cam mechanism select the cam and here I'm going to make sure that the auto select option is checked in and here I'm going to select this outer circular edge and in the cam to option I'm going to select the outer edge of the cam and then click on OK and click on OK once again and now my cam and follower mechanism is applied but I am going to apply the spring connection to it select the spring command 
and here I'm going to select two points which I have created recently. Select this point and holding down the control key select another point. And here I'm going to enter a value of 100. And then give a check mark to it. If I want to edit this value, I'm going to select the spring command and here I'm going to select this spring and I'm going to select the edit definition option and let me change this value to 60 and if I go to the options tab I can adjust the icon diameter let me enter a value of 25 and now my give a check mark to it and now my spring gets successfully created and also I'm going to apply the damper features to it select the damper and as usual select these two points here first select this point and holding down the control key select another point and let me enter this value as 100 and then give it check mark to it and now my dampers and springs are created successfully and I'm going to animate this one and before animating it I'm going to apply the server motor connection select the server motor and select the rotary axis of the cam and in the profile details I'm going to make sure that it is represented as angular velocity with some value of 20 and then give a check mark to it and now I'm going to select the mechanism analysis and I'm going to select the kinematic analysis and let me enter a value of 100 and let me run this one it runs too slow and anyway my cam and follower mechanism is created successfully for more additional videos related to the mechanical engineering concepts and the design, please subscribe my channel.